Hello and welcome to Theta Sigma's Doctor Who podcast number 58. This week, happy birthday Peter, and we start a two-week look at fourth Doctor companion, Ramana Varatra Lunda, with a look this week at Mary Tan. Thank you for listening to Theta Sigma's Doctor Who podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all copyright and property of the BBC, and no infringement is intended. Peter Davison was born on the 13th of April 1951, and went on of course to become best known for playing the Fifth Doctor. Davison was famously advised by Patrick Troughton to only play the part for three years, advice he chose to follow until picking up the part once again for Big Finish and making the Fifth Doctor one of the most popular amongst fans of the audio adventures. Peter Davison, we salute you. Happy birthday. A man is the sum of his memories, you know, a Time Lord even more so. And now on with the rest of today's show. Romana was thrust onto the Fourth Doctor by the White Guardian to help him with his quest to find all six segments of the key to time. Over time she was played by both Mary Tam and Lala Ward, but it's Tam that I want to focus on in today's show. My name is Romana Dvaragna Lunda. Mary Tam was born on the 22nd of March 1950 and was the British actress best known for her role as Romana in Doctor Who starring opposite Tom Baker in the Key to Time story arc in 1978 and 79. Tam was born in Bradford in Yorkshire to Estonian immigrant parents and attended Bradford Girls Grammar School. She was a graduate and associate member of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art where she studied from 1969 to 71. Tam began acting on the stage with the Birmingham Repertory Company in 1971. She then moved to London the following year and appeared in the musical Mother Earth. Before her association with Doctor Who, Tam had appeared in several films, including The Odessa File in 1974 and The Likely Lads in 1976. In 1981, she took the part of Rhoda Dawes in Agatha Christie's Cards on the Table at London's Vaudeville Theatre. Tam was not initially interested in playing a companion to the Doctor, thinking that the role was merely that of the damsel in distress. She changed her mind when assured by the producers that Romana would be a member of the Doctor's own race and therefore just as capable as he was. She left the programme after only one season because she felt the character had reverted to the traditional assistant role and couldn't be developed any further. In a 2007 interview, Tam stated that she had been willing to film a regeneration sequence to allow a smooth transition between her tenure and that of her successor, but she wasn't invited to do so. One source states that pregnancy was the reason that she was asked not to return, which Tam denied as a false rumour invented by John Nathan Turner. After leaving the series, Tam took leading roles in two BBC One dramas, The Treachery Game in 1980 and its sequel The Assassination Run in 1981, and a leading role in the sitcom The Hello Goodbye Man opposite Ian Lavender in 1984 for BBC Two. In the early 1990s she was a regular guest panellist on the ITV morning quiz show Crosswits. Subsequently, Tam played the characters of Penny Crosby in the soap opera Brookside, Yvonne Edwards in the BBC drama Paradise Heights, and had numerous guest roles in other TV shows. She returned as Pandora in the second series of the Gallifrey audio plays produced by Big Finish. Her first such appearance was in Gallifrey Lies. She also appeared as herself in a special feature in the 2007 DVD box set release of The Key to Time, discussing her experiences on the programme. 
In August 2009, Tam made a brief one-week appearance as Orlando in EastEnders. Reprising the role of Romana, Tam recorded seven new Doctor Who audio adventures for Big Finish with Tom Baker, shortly before her untimely death. These were released in 2013 as Season 2 of the Fourth Doctor Adventures. Of course now I realise that your behaviour simply derives from a subtransitory experiential hypertoid induced condition, aggravated I expect by multi-encephalogical tensions. But what about Romana? Romana's a Time Lady from Gallifrey and companion to the Fourth Doctor. As a Time Lady she's able to regenerate, having had two on-screen incarnations with somewhat different personalities. Romana 1 was played by Mary Tam from 1978 to 79, but when Tam chose not to re-sign for a second season, the part was recast. Romana is only one of two members of the Doctor's own race to travel with him in the original television series, the other being Susan, the Doctor's granddaughter, although she was never actually referred to as a Time Lady. The White Guardian originally assigns Romana to assist the Doctor with his quest for the key to time, a series of linked stories which constitutes the whole of season 16. She first appears in the Rebos operation, yes, that's Rebos, not Ribos, and was intended as a contrast to the Doctor's previous companion, Leela. Romana is initially haughty and somewhat arrogant, looking down on the Doctor whom she considers to be her academic inferior, and responding to his initial resentment at her presence with some icy put-downs. However, she soon gains an appreciation for the Doctor's experience and sense of adventure, and begins to respect him as a teacher. Over the course of Season 16, Romana begins to take on some of the characteristics of the screaming damsel in distress, which reinforced Tam's decision not to remain in the role, as she felt the character had been taken as far as she could go. As a result, Romana regenerates at the start of Season 17. Although Tam had left the show on relatively good terms and was willing to film a regeneration sequence for the start of season 17, she wasn't invited to do so. She has stated that the often repeated explanation that she left due to pregnancy is a myth that was started by John Nathan Turner, as she wasn't pregnant when she decided to leave the series. However, her pregnancy has been stated as the reason she wasn't able to film a regeneration sequence. Oh, goodbye, my dear chap. I must say I've had the time of my lives. And that's it for this week, other than a few shout-outs. Earlier this week I took the plunge and joined several Doctor Who Facebook groups. They were all gracious enough to accept my application, and as a means of saying thank you, I want to shout them out here on the show. So my thanks to, in no particular order, Doctor Who Fans, Doctor Who Fanatics, Doctor Who Sanctuary, The Cloister Bella Journey Through Time and Space, Doctor Who, Whovians United, Hello to the Eleventh Doctor, and lastly, but by no means least, Doctor Who, the greatest Sky-Fi series ever made. If you're not already a member of a Doctor Who Facebook group, where better to start than any one of these brilliant groups? Next week we complete our look at Romana, with a close dissection of Romana 2, as played by Lala Ward. I told you you'd got the time wrong, Doctor. Yes, but you're always saying that. You're always getting the time wrong. Thank you for listening to Theta Sigma's Doctor Who podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all copyright and property of the BBC, and no infringement is intended. <laughs>